when plans don't fall through, what are you gonna do? When plans don't fall through, what you gonna do? What you gonna do? What you gonna, listen, me and Ben had plans and we've been waiting on these plans to fall through for one, one winter, two winters. Now this is the third winter and it just, plans went psh, hopes, dreams psh, for, for that plan psh, 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 psh. we're not we, we we are pivoting right now we are pivoting and it's okay it's okay like it's literally okay life is more important who god is is more important than our plans and if we can prioritize that truth that will that truth of god is good more greater than our plans and he's better than plans that we make then that goodness will seep through our lives and then we will we will better we'll better see what he sees and go towards those things that he sees because god sees things in every way and through every aspect and we are we are co-laborers with christ jesus and he it's just like when, when plans don't fall through, what are you going to do? Are you going to sit there? Are you going to cry? Are you going to be like, well, is me? Look, I've been there. I've done that. I've even thought about doing it. I actually had like a, it wasn't that like, I was like, oh my gosh. But I had to feel the feeling of disappointment. But now I'm moving forward. I'm moving forward. The only foolish part that could like resonate with me that the enemy can use to pull on me and my emotions is the fact that I, would, I was telling other people of these plans. And now these plans are not coming. Like they're not happening. So that, like that's the only reason why I would feel crazy. But that's still just, but that, if you, but if you think about that, that's still, that's just wrapped up in me. That's been wrapped up in how I look and how I perceive and how, oh, look, she said it and it happened and, like, oh, look at her face. And, like, I don't care about any of that. Like, do I really care about that? No. Do you crush a child for dreaming? <laughs> do you crush a child if your child said, Mommy, I want I want a unicorn at my birthday party. And it don't. does a child even care that they look silly? No, they don't care. So I'm a child. I'm God's child. I dream big. And I'm trying to, and I'm trying to dream bigger because God is just that good. And so right now I am pivoting right now. I'm pivoting. I'm pivoting and I'm grateful because I'm getting stronger. I'm getting bolder. I'm getting courageous and I'm giving, getting to a point where I can actually be the person you need me to be and who you need to me to be, whoever you may be. If you know me, this is really for you. I'm being the, I am going to then be the person that I need to be to be bold and courageous to be bold and courageous and to not give up and to show you that there's something worth fighting for and it's not the plans it's not the things it's not this and that it's God it's confidence and trust in God that you can still out of your mouth declare he's good no matter what happens and from that God connection that you have because you're his child you can then speak the things that he wants to happen in the earth and so happy friday y'all when your plans don't fall through what are you gonna do you're gonna you're gonna sit you're gonna feel it but you're not gonna allow it to rob you of who you are and that's what i was tempted to do for like a split second i was i was oh, like well god like i had all these signs i was praying i was believing i was trusting i felt like you were giving me impressions and things to hold on to and i wanted to give up. i'm like i wanted to give up i wanted to give up and it wasn't what what the plan it's not the plan that had that didn't fall through is what made me feel despair it wasn't that it was that i was i was gaining more relationship with god through this experience that now this experience has changed but who i discovered who god is and who i am didn't change i just discovered it and so my initial reaction to with the plans not falling through was oh i suck like what's wrong with me no no like i'm not going to allow my circumstances to judge me because god loves me he died for me like i'm not going to do that and i, I wrote this in my journal i said i don't want to i don't want to give up because if i give up i give up on me i matter i'm valuable and i've never really been able to declare this and, and to hear myself say this was so powerful i matter i'm valuable 
raven jesus said what was it what is it you know to gain the whole world but lose your soul your, my soul matters matters way more than what i could gain in the physical and what we can manifest no we met i manifest based on what's inside of me i manifest based on what's inside of me who is who god is inside of me because he's inside of me, I'm his child, which means I already have an inheritance. I have promises that are laid up for me, kept safe for me in heaven. And that's not a place, heaven not saying I die and then I get it. No, heaven is the secret place of the most high that he lives in unapproachable light. But because I believe in Jesus, I can approach the throne of grace with boldness and say, Lord, you are my provider. And I just thank God because I am 32 and I'm, and I'm, I'm, I'm waking up. I'm waking up. Ask my husband. <laughs> he knows. He knows. Ben, you know, boo. And I'm just so grateful because Ben is like, he's been my, he's been, he's, he just reflects God so good. And I'm so humbled to be his wife because even with it, you know, he still laugh. He's still playing with the kids. Like he's still like vibrant and i think it's because he's he's been through some stuff i have been as much if y'all knew his story he'd been through some stuff he'd been in the gutter you know people say been in the gutter he's been in it he's been in the trenches but he's never become a victim and i think <laughs> my little life is like ah oh, i'm a victim when something doesn't oh i'm a victim no i'm not a victim i'm a victor through christ jesus my spiritual mom who's who is gone on to be with the lord i miss her dearly because i could call her i can count on her to pray for me but she's she's in the cloud and she's rooting for me but you know she would just yeah i don't know where i'm going with that but i just i i i i'm so grateful i'm so grateful for my husband i'm so grateful for the trials of fire like i've been through some stuff y'all i can tell y'all what i've been through the past three years you would be like mm, like i am so grateful for god and it says that the the prophet thirty woman she laughs at the days to come. Like I feel like I'm entering into that era of laughing because God is like, like, like what's the worst thing can happen to me? I die. Like that that isn't even like. Look, y'all, I'm just having a praise moment. I'm having a standing on God's promises moment. You know, because I'm not running after promises. I'm running after God, who is the promise keeper. Don't let this world, don't let, don't become jaded and don't become world weary and thinking that you gotta do, it's just, just know God. That is my superpower is knowing God, <laughs> like knowing God, like knowing he loves me. And I just feel like I can, I'm showing up now before I would hide and I would hold on to the failures i would hold on i didn't want to talk about it i didn't want to talk about oh this didn't happen this didn't fall through and it's like i'm holding on to it because i want to hide it and no i have nothing to hide i'm nothing to hide but all to gain because christ is alive his birthday is coming we're about to celebrate christmas christ like i like look <laughs> god is good i'm so grateful for god i'm so grateful for being able to share this moment. I don't even know I'm gonna post this, but I post this, praise the Lord. But like, God is good. That God is good. God is good. You are like, we are the light of the world. And we can't hide our light. We cannot hide our light. And, you know, if we can see Jesus, if we can fix our eyes on Jesus who overcame, like he went through some stuff, like he suffered to the point of shedding blood. I'm, none of my stuff, I haven't bled for the stuff I'm going through. And what I'm going through is working together for my good. And I can see, okay, his victory is my victory. So I'm gonna get through this. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna win. This is, this is in it. This is, this, this is the L that stands for, uh, what? Leveling up. This is the, the, for light. Like, ain't no losing. I, I can't lose. Like, I can't lose. I can't lose. Like, can you lose? Can Christians lose? Did Christ lose? They thought he lost, but through three days later, that man was out of the tomb stone roll over a new man he said touch me and this 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 story this testimony has been carried on to me to 2023 so um praise the lord we about to make some moves this morning i am making some moves and we're gonna just see what god does the lord is our shepherd 
I shall not want. He makes me to lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside still waters. He, he quiets my soul. He stills me. He leads me down the path of righteousness for his name's sake. Even though I may walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil for God, my shepherd, the Lord Jesus Christ, my shepherd. He will keep me. His staff will comfort me and pull me in the rush I need to go. He prepared a table for me in the presence of my enemies. My cup was going to run over. He'll, he anoints my head with oil. My cup runs over. Surely his goodness and his mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. And I shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Why? Because the house, I am the house. I am the temple of the living God. And his, his presence is going to be amongst us. And he's coming. His second return is to be amongst us and to dwell amongst us for the whole world to know this truth that Jesus is Lord. And it's perfect. It's interesting. Psalms 23, 2023. Psalms 24 is the next chapter. Psalm is going to be the next year. 2024 is approaching us. And what does that one say? The earth is the Lord's and the fullness thereof. The world and they that dwell therein, for he's established it. Who shall ascend to the hill of the Lord? Who shall stand in his holy place? He who has clean hands and a pure heart. I don't I don't get clean hands and a pure heart by any striving, by any, you know. No, I get it by receiving the gift of Christ. It's Christmas. Receive the gift of Christ. Receive it. And you, it's just, it's the, the best gift ever. It's the gift that keeps on giving. It's the gift that keeps on giving. It gives you vision. It gives you purpose. It gives you hope. Gotta go. My baby's crying. He's waking up. Peace and love. Peace and love.